Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me just doing a fall glam look. I am so excited to play with some colors and I've got my burnt orange on. I'm ready for fall. I'm also just trying to convince myself that I don't need any of the new fall releases. Like they have the new pumpkin spice palette from Too Faced. I don't need it. I swear I don't need it. So I'm trying to use some of the palettes that I have from last year during the holiday season, during holiday and fall, um, and just kind of like getting some use out of those and reminding myself I don't need to buy anything else to achieve a good fall glam look. So if you guys want to see what I come up with, then just keep watching. So today I am going to be using Too Faced palettes. Um, I have this one from last Christmas that I got as a present, and it is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra, ooh, Extra Spicy Palette. Um, it's really gorgeous. I barely used it because, uh, like I said, I got this in December, and by then I kind of wasn't wearing these like really warm tones anymore. So I'm very excited to get some use out of this this fall, and then the Hot Buttered Rum Palette, which I got pretty much right as it came out last year, and I used it quite a bit but I really only use kind of like the shimmery shades, so we're gonna dip into some mattes today. I do want to um, kind of recreate this pumpkin cream, cold, uh, pumpkin cream cold brew look from Kristen Dominique. Um, it's really, really beautiful. I'll link her down, be down below. I'll link the video that I got inspiration from. Um, I just thought it was like a really pretty soft glam fall look and I want to recreate that so that was kind of the inspiration behind this look and also convincing myself I don't need the pumpkin pie but so let's get started with some eyebrows so I went ahead and zoomed you guys in I'm just gonna brush through my eyebrows real quick um, and we're gonna be using the Chella Beauty tantalizing taupe eyebrow cream this has been like my go-to eyebrow product for a while now so I've been loving this and I don't think I'll run out of it anytime soon but it's just nice and it's not like too heavy of a um, brow moment when I use this because it is that taupe color so I'm gonna take this little Mary Kay spoolie and brush through it Now I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel. I have mine in the shade Medium. So next I'm gonna go in with the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, so she starts out with like a yellowy cream color. I don't have that exact shade, so I'm gonna go in with the Hot Butter Rim Palette, this mustard, and then this white, and I'm gonna mix them two together. I'm using this SL Miss Glam Precise Blending Brush in T35, so it's just this blending brush, and I'm gonna go in with both of those. And try that and see how it looks. So what are you guys most looking forward to this fall? Let me know down below. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to burning all my fall candles. I'm looking forward to pumpkin patches, which I didn't get to go to one last year, so we'll see. So next thing I'm gonna go in with is from the Gingerbread Spicy Palette, or Extra Spicy Palette. In, in a pinch. We're just gonna pack that right below where I just put that kind of yellow caramel shade. So I'm gonna go in with like a clean brush. This is just the Olimar Cosmetics. I don't actually know what brush this is. I got this in a trio from BoxyCharm, but I'm just gonna blend this all out. It's a clean brush. I just wanna get a little blending going. So I'm gonna go in with a brown actually now. Uh, I think I'm gonna mix gingerbread ja no gingerbread glam and cookie call. I'm gonna mix cookie call and gingerbread glam. Okay, so now for the pumpkin cream color, 
I actually have to mix a few colors. So I'm going to mix butterscotch, this like, it literally is like the color of butterscotch, yellow, with plenty of dough, which is like this peach, and then vanilla wafers. So I'm gonna mix those three, and we'll see if I can get that good like pumpkin cream cold brew. But the cream part is what I'm trying to get. Wow, that's really pretty actually. I'm, I'm like genuinely surprised that I'm pulling this look off. Now for the color I'm like most excited to get into. It is extra spicy. Look how beautiful that is. It's like this beautiful red orange. So that's like my pumpkin spice color. And I'm gonna go in with this little small shader brush from Mary Kay. It's the eye crease brush. I'm gonna go in with extra spicy and I'm also gonna mix it a little bit with this kind of like beige color from the Hot Buttered Rum palette. So we're gonna go blend it right in the crease. Actually might go in with a bigger brush. Let me, let me try this one. This is like fluffier, so let me do that. I'm gonna deepen up the brown just a little bit. So for the brow bone shade, I'm gonna go in with Vanilla Wafer, and we're just gonna do that right underneath the eyebrow. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of Plenty of Dough. Okay, so for liner, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Shimmer Eyeshadow. I have mine in the shade Cashmere Love. It is just this like bronzy glitter, and we're gonna go with a liquid liner brush. And we're not gonna wing it out, we're just gonna do, oh, that's so pretty, a little liner. I'm gonna go in with a little Urban Decay Perversion Eye Pencil under the waterline. Okay, let's zoom back out and we'll finish the rest of the face before finishing the eyes. So I think I'm gonna combine two different primers. I'm gonna go with Dr. Brandt's Pour No More Luminizer and the Cover Effects Blurring Primer just on my T-zone. Going in with my Mary Kay Under Eye Corrector. Going to go in with my Yinsa BC foundation in the shade Medium Warm. So next I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I'm using the shade Medium Sand. try the TikTok hack. <laughs> Are you guys on um, TikTok makeup? Or yeah, makeup TikTok? Are you guys on there? I kind of am. I'm gonna be honest, I recently just got into Draco Malfoy TikTok. Um, comment down below if you're on there too. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know where the obsession came from, but I 100% support it. And I've only seen Harry Potter once, so <laughs> I just watched it for the last time last fall, actually. So I'm actually thinking of, like, Draco Malfoy TikTok is making me think to read the books. So let me know down below if you are, is it a Potterhead? Or is that what they're called? I think. Um, I never got into that as a kid, but I also was, like, totally against reading. So um, let me know if I should read the books or not um let me know if you guys are into all that and if you think i should get into it i don't know i didn't have a harry potter phase so maybe i should have one but um guess down below i'm gonna tell you what my house is but guess i'll give you a few seconds to guess what my house is um you could probably already tell um by my personality 
it's a little obvious, but I'll let you guess. Okay, did you guess? I'm a Hufflepuff. It, yeah, you, you can tell, like, <laughs> I'm loyal and I'm kind. I'm not very brave, but that's okay. But I give 100% to everything that I do and that's all that matters. So <laughs> definitely the personality of a Hufflepuff, but hey, that's okay. Yeah, let me know what your house is down below. Um, and if I should get into reading the books, I'm definitely gonna rewatch the movies because I feel like it's like a perfect thing to rewatch during like the fall time and, and Halloween. Um, but yeah, like I always rewatch Gilmore Girls. Let me know down below if you're a Gilmore Girl because we're gonna be best friends if you are. Um, but yeah, I feel like those shows are really good to watch during the fall time. I just love getting cozy and watching Gilmore Girls. It's so nice. So next I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick and Baked. So I'm actually gonna just do a little dab right here. I really feel like that BC foundation covered up most of my zits, which is kind of great. Um, Cause it's more of like a CC cream, but it had some pretty good coverage. So I'm pretty impressed. I've used that before a few times, but I usually mix it with something else cause it's never my shade. So now that I went on vacation and came back, I got a little more of a tan. So I can actually use that. So I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f contouring brush. This is actually a really cool brush. I used to use this all the time for cream contouring and kind of forgot about it. So I'm just gonna like go right on the line and like buff it. I've been really getting into cream products this past year. I don't know what it is, um, but I've really been loving it. Even though it's like hot and still summer heat here in Texas, I've really been loving cream products. Like I feel like they don't weigh on my face as much and me being a dry skin girl, it also like just works well with my skin type. So let me know down below what your favorite cream bronzer is because currently I only have the baked bronzer and I don't know if I should get like a liquid or try something new. Um, but for now, I do like this. It's a good color. I don't know if it's going to last me for winter when I'm not like as tan. So we'll see. Sorry if the lighting's changing. It's getting like more and more cloudy throughout the day. So I'm... I can't help it. I have my makeup mirror light on now, so hopefully it's a little better. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go in with the Flower Beauty Blush Balm. And this is in the shade Cinnamon. I've really, really been loving this. I got this like last month, I think. Um, and I feel like this is the perfect shade to transition to fall too, because it's like this burnt orange color. Look how gorgeous. So I'm going to go in with that. So I'm gonna go in with this Luxie Duo Fiber Powder Brush. I don't use it for powder, I actually use it for like cream products, so. I'm gonna go in with a little face powder, the Pretty Vulgar Powder Room Matte About It Setting Powder. I don't use a lot of this, but I like to set my face when I use these cream products just cause I don't want them going all over the place, so. Really only gonna set like my cheeks, which is not what gets dry. What gets dry for me is actually like my T-zone, which is weird. Like my nose and the tops of my cheeks right here. So I try not to touch those with powder. So I am gonna go in with a little more blush and this is the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amour. I used to love this color. I used to use this every game day, well, literally every day in college. So I, and I think I broke it, so I had to throw it out, but I'm gonna try it again and we'll see. It's so pretty. We'll see if I love it again, I love it. <laughs> it's got like a slight sheen to it too, which even when I had oilier skin, I had oilier skin in college. Um, it was still good for me. Look how beautiful. And I was a lot more tan then too. So even on like my not as tan skin, it's still I don't know why people raved about Luminoso um, because to me that was like a really light peach shade so maybe that's good for people with super fair skin but to me Barry Moore has always been the beautiful shade in that range but really that whole Milani baked collection is so good and the brush that I was using for 
blush is the Aesthetica P12 brush. It's just like a big fluffy brush. I love it. So for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlight. It's just like a nice gold color and the Luxie Tapered Highlight 522 brush. Ooh, okay, I really didn't want like super highlight. And just to like set all the makeup and make it not as dry and powdery, I like to go in with the Pixi Glow Mist. This stuff is like gold to me. I literally would rebuy it a million times over. Especially, the, I really only recommend this for dry skin. If you have oily skin, you're not gonna like this, but I have dry skin and this is a blessing. So we're gonna finish off the under eyes and I'm gonna do a little mixture of everything that I used earlier. I'm gonna do a little extra spicy, some gingerbread glam, I'm gonna do some cookie call over here and some butterscotch. So I'm just gonna go in with like all of them underneath the eye, and smoke it out. I'm using the e.l.f. doesn't even have the name on it anymore, but it's a little one dollar brush. This thing is actually really good for under the eyes. I'm going to go in with this Luxie 207T. It's like a little mini brush and just kind of like blend out the under eye with it. Now I'm going to go in with a little of Plenty of Dough and Vanilla Wafers right in the inner corner, brighten it up. Okay, I'm grabbing like a really small brush and I'm going to go in with Cookie Cutter from Gingerbread. So this one right here. And I'm gonna go on the inner corner just a little bit with that. We're gonna do a little mascara. I'm just using the It Superhero Mascara. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna be a little daring and do like a dark purple. So this is Mary Kay's Pro Martillo. It is like a dark, dark dark purple i'll swatch it for you so you can like see the color so it's like a wine almost and honestly i had a few other options like i have this orange spice for me from maybelline and it's like literally pumpkin colored i had chocolate kiss from ulta this is a really pretty color it's like literally chocolate brown i tried them and they didn't work um and then i also had ColourPop's ziggy matte lippy stick which is like the color of my top almost, but none of them really looked good with this outfit. So I do actually think that this dark purple is gonna look good. So I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild gel lip liner in the shade Don't Be a Prune, just because for this dark lip color, I really want it to work. So I'm gonna line my lips. I usually don't do this, so please don't judge me if I'm bad at it. <laughs> Okay, so here's the final look. I'm actually really loving the lipstick. I should have done a little bit of like lip scrub before because um, my lips are kind of crusty and it's showing a little bit like this is kind of sticking to the dry parts of my lips, but that's okay. I like can't stop looking at myself in the mirror because I'm like not, not used to this. I never wear dark lipstick, but I have dark lipstick, which is like just wear it, Victoria. It's not a big deal. Anyways, so this is the final look that I came up with. Let me know what you think down below. I really had fun recreating this makeup look. I feel like like I've never blended so beautifully before. So I really do think these 10 palettes from Too Faced have very, very good um, quality shadows in here, especially the mattes. So I mean, if you're looking for, if you want the pumpkin, pumpkin spice, yeah, pumpkin spice palette, then get it. I have convinced myself that I don't need it just now, so we're good. I don't need it. <laughs> if it comes to TJ Maxx, maybe I'll get it, so don't hold me to that, but yeah, so this was the final look. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!